yes, we are back with another fuel injected, tyre shredding OG battles between two very similar big power Mustangs, but with one major difference. One's turbo and one's supercharged, and we're here to find out which is best. So stay tuned for this one, you do not want to miss it, let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gap. So welcome back to an all-American showdown between two highly tuned V8 muscle cars. And today, we're gonna see if the instant low down power from a supercharger setup can outgun the savage torque and power delivery of a twin turbo setup. And in partnership with Race Logic, and as usual, we're gonna be running four different tests. First, it's a zero to 60. Next up, it's a quarter mile run. After that, it's a drag race to the quarter mile. And finally, we line all cars up for a quarter mile roll race. Let's meet the cars and their owners. So first up, introducing Ben and his 980 brake horsepower, 730 foot pound, five litre V8 supercharged Mustang GT, AKA ASBO. Built and tuned by D and Ben himself at Motorsport and Performance. Modifications include a stage six Whipple supercharger, a dual pass charge cooler, billet timing chain tensioner, crank gear, arms and oil pump, methanol injection, and a Torsen diff with 3.31 final drive. The car's running on PS4S street tires and weighs in at 1,650 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 593 brake horsepower per tonne. The Mustang drives its rear wheels only via its six speed manual transmission. And he's gonna be stepping up against Tom and his 950 brake horsepower, 800 foot pound twin turbo five litre V8 Mustang GT, also built by DM Ben at Motorsport and Performance. Modifications include a Hellion twin turbo kit with twin precision 62 millimeter billet wheel ball bearing turbos, billet timing chain tensioner, crank gear, arms and oil pump, and an uprated intercooler. The car's also running on PS4S street tires and weighs in at 1650 kg, giving him a power to weight ratio close to the supercharged car of 572 brake horsepower per tonne. The car's running on the standard rear clutch diff and a 3.55 final drive. It drives the rear wheels only via its manual six speed transmission. Ben, welcome to the channel. Jeremy, how fact, are you, mate? Welcome back to the channel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of people uh, kind of saw the original feature of this. I mean, it got views. We but got didn't... banned, didn't we? I we think we got what, shadow banned. That's what I was Too much power, about. I heard. Too much <laughs> <laughs> but um, you're down here today with two of your cars, funnily enough. Obviously, you're from that. Uh, yes. you know, most yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you've tuned both and built both. Um, but we're here to find out supercharged or turboed, I guess. Yeah, sort of. Mate. It's win-win for me, so I'm not bothered. Exactly, uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so you've already won pretty much. But what, what's your expectations of the day? I mean, like zero to 60, quarter mile? Uh, honestly, on this surface, I've got absolutely no idea, Jeremy. It's just going to take some practice. We'll see if we can get, get some traction. Got you. But uh, hopefully the turbo car will lend itself better to getting the traction down. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I honestly don't know. Yeah. Okay, cool. okay. <laughs> so are you quietly confident that you're going to beat him? Uh... Mm, I'm trying to build some rivalry uh, here. Matt, yeah, of course I'm going to be. <laughs> I'm going to absolutely smash him. He's going to go home crying. There and, we go. Uh, neither of us will have any tread left on this side. So <laughs> that, that I can be certain of. Listen, the main thing is we have a good time, right? Yes, absolutely. That's what it's all about, man. Wicked, bro. All right. Well, good luck. Is that it? That's it. Oh, all right. That's it. <laughs> Tom, welcome back to the channel. It's good to be here, mate. It's good to be here. Bro, we've brought the twin turbo bad boy up. <laughs> it's here, it's here. Mate, it's here. And uh, yeah, it's supercharged versus turbo, I guess, versus today. Turbo. Yeah, um, so, two high powered rear wheel drive cars mm -hmm. that are notoriously known for going crowd surfing, right? Yeah. So, mate, grip is always an issue. Yeah. <laughs> and on this track today, I think it will be again because it's not the best surface. Yeah. Um, however, what's your expectation? Zero to 60s, quarter miles, drag race, and roll race? Um, oh man, to be honest with you, I've got, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to do the best I can and not break my axles, to be honest, <laughs> because I'm still, I'm still on stock ones. So, um, I mean, rolling race, this has more torque. Um, mm, I think that, that the, the supercharged characteristics are quite, it's just all power, 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 power. Um, I think it might spin up more. I might have a better chance of getting grip, but got you, got you. We'll see. So we'll perhaps see. You, you you might get it off the line, but he might 
reel it in on the roll. Top end, could... maybe. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, look, it's going to be interesting regardless. Yeah. We want absolutely. the fighting spirit within oh, you. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's have a good day. Let's do it. Wicked man. Let's go. Let's go. So first up is the zero to sixties. But before we get cracking, let's get a couple of sound checks. <laughs> So first up is Turbo Tom. Traction is going to be a major issue for both of these lads, but let's see how they get on. And that's a 0 to 60 time of 5.35 seconds. Let's see if the supercharged car can better it. And Ben runs a sub 5 second time of 4.91 seconds. So let's just take a quick look at the OG Battle's rear wheel drive 0 to 60 leaderboard. And as you can see, Ben just about makes it into the top 15 in 15th place with his time of 4.91 seconds. Unfortunately, Turbo Tom isn't quite quick enough to chart on the leaderboard with his 0 to 60 time of 5.35 seconds. And round one goes to the supercharged Mustang. Next up is the quarter mile tests. Let's get it. All right, quarter mile then. That's a time of 12.56 seconds from the supercharged car. Let's see if Tom can beat him. <laughs> and the best that Tom can manage is a 12.88 second run. So taking a look at the OG Battle's quarter mile rear wheel drive leaderboard, you can see that Ben and a supercharged Mustang drop into 12th position with his time of 12.56 seconds at a speed of 128 miles per hour. Turbo Tom just about manages to get on the leaderboard this time in 15th position, running a 12.88 quarter mile at a speed of 122 miles per hour. And once again, round two goes to Ben and a supercharged car. Next up is the drag races. Let's see how they react in a pressured environment. Let's go! <laughs> Ready? Let's go again. Let's go again. 
and the supercharged Mustang takes the win by about two car lengths. That was epic. Let's line them up and go again. Yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that was insane, but the supercharged Mustang still manages to beat Turbo Tom to the finish by a car and a half length. And round three once again goes to Ben and the supercharged Mustang. Next up is the roll races, but this is where the turboed car's torque advantage might come into play. Let's get it. And the turbo Mustang flips the script and pulls one back, beating the supercharged car to the finish by three car lengths. That was nuts, so let's line them up and go again. Once again, an ultra close race, but the supercharged car beats Turbo Tom to the finish by about a car length. That was close. It's one all, so let's line them up through the cider. Oh, what a day. I should have been working today, but I it off. Thank God I did. Thank God I did. Once again, Ben and the supercharged Mustang take the win by about two car lengths. 
and round four and all rounds go to Ben and a supercharged Mustang, it's clear to see that he is truly gapped in America. So all in all, a great day of close races between two very similar but different builds and realistically, there wasn't a major amount in it. However, the supercharged car just seemed to have the legs in pretty much all rounds and with the times achieved, it just goes to show that traction is key and if you can't get it, it doesn't matter how powerful your car is. That said, these cars on prep surfaces can actually run down into the nines, so it just goes to show. <laughs> And as always guys, let me know how you prefer your cars, turboed or supercharged. And as ever, a massive shout out to both lads for turning up and letting their cars do the talking. And a massive thank you to Motorsport and Performance. Guys, if you have enjoyed today's battles, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and stay tuned for another epic OG battles. Peace out.